All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Karkadash. Double honors to my apostles and others, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson. This is being proud of y'all by Shema Shai. And, um, this lesson is going to be seen entitled, this is year 2020, okay? All right, which is the year of prophecy, going through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, through the Apostle Tahar, all right, of Great Millstone, okay? All right, and hey, man, that speaks for itself, man. All right, the year of prophecy, man, okay? All right, and I just want to get, you know, uh, some scriptures regarding on what, you know, what prophecy is, one, okay, and uh, uh, what's going to happen, man, okay? All right, so this is a... Uh, Second Exodus chapter 15, I'm going to start at verse 1, and it uh, reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, okay? And that word behold means to look. So Yahweh Bashim al who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, all right, wants to get the attention of his people, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the seed of your father, you Israelites, okay? It says, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, okay? All right, and what is prophecy, man? Okay, uh, first let's get this uh, um, uh, word prophecy in the Enamon Dictionary real fast, okay? All right, let's see what actually, what is prophecy, what the word means, okay? It says, a prophecy, function of a prophet, okay? And a prophet is a person, okay? All right, it says, meaning things spoken or written by a prophet. Now, what was the job of a prophet, Okay. It says, a prophet, a noun. It says, a person who speaks for the Most High, one who foretells, inspired preacher. Okay? All right? And you look into that word inspired, it means to be given the breath. Okay? All right? And you can see that who who's that right now? The spirit and power of Yahweh Shem al the apostles, the elders, a great millstone, to the men on down, okay, where the ones are... Uh, 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 you know, to the men on down, we are the ones that have been ordained or inspired by Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, given that spirit, okay, given that holy inspiration, all right, to foretell you, man, of things to come, foretell what, tell you the future, okay, all right, it says, uh, it says, especially of God, it says, preacher, it's by preacher, it says, from, uh, you know, basically prophet or prophecy, Pro meaning before and facade to speak. So to speak before things happen. Okay. <coughs> now what does the scripture say about this? Let's quickly uh, get this precept real fast. This is Isaiah chapter 49, I believe. Let's see. Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, or I think it's 42. It might be 42. Yep, 42. And start verse nine yep it says this is uh, isaiah 42 and 9 it says behold the former things are come to pass okay what are the former things those are the old prophecies but the uh the flood 70 a.d us losing our heritage slavery okay all right the transatlantic slave trade okay all right all these were prophecies that already happened all right just some examples it says and new things do i declare what are those new things? Those are new prophecies to come up. All right. You know, World War Three, the RFID chip. All right. The coming of the kingdom of heaven, the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the word calls Jesus Christ. All right. It says before they spring forth, meaning before they happen. OK, I tell you of them. All right. And how does the Lord tell you of them? For through his prophets, the one that are speaking prophecy. OK. All right. So now let's quickly go back to uh, second Ezra's. Uh, let's see, yep, Second Ezra chapter fifteen. It says, verse one. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy." So we're telling you the things of the future to come. Okay, inspired by the heavenly Father. Okay, all right. It says, "Which I will put in thy mouth." So these are not our words. These are the words of the heavenly Father. All right, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it says. Say if Yahweh and I and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, 
All right, and what does that mean to be written in paper? All right, that's the Bible, okay? To be written down, to be recorded. That is the Bible 1611 with the Apocrypha, okay? All right, which is the closest to what? The Hebrew, okay? All right, which what? We are the Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, and my people was talking about you Hebrew Israelites, okay? The children of the Heavenly Father, okay? All right, Yahweh, all right? You know, which his true name is Yahweh, okay? Uh, who the word calls God, and the true name of the only begotten Son, all right, is Yahweh Shai, okay? Who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? It says, keep on going. Um, it says, and cause to be written in paper because they are faithful and true. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is not a man that he shall lie, okay? All right, so the Lord, well, everything the Lord says is going to happen will happen, okay? Now, matter of fact, I got, uh, let's see, what's the next one? Uh, quickly, I'm going to get, uh, because we're coming in the spirit of prophecy, which is, uh, you know, the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's get it. Revelation, I believe, in verse 19, chapter 19. Uh, let's see. Yep. Verse 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. Talk about the angel that came to saw, saw John the Revelator, okay? And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right, when you go in the word testimony, it means the witness, okay? All right, it says, Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So if you claim that you know the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you becoming in his spirit. In his spirit, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. Okay? The testimony of him, the witness of him, is the spirit of prophecy. So you'll be what? Prophesying. Okay? All right? Telling what's going to happen in the future. Okay? You know? Cookie, go back. Uh, let's see. Uh, and what, like I said, what was our job to do out here? All right? As, uh, as prophets, we're supposed to prophesy. And what we prophesy against many countries and great kingdoms, man. Okay? All right? As the scripture is about to say, let's click get this. It's the book of Isaiah. Uh, wait, is it? I think it's Jeremiah. Hold on, it's like you. Um, excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. Uh, this is Jeremiah 28. I think eight. Yep. Yep. This is Jeremiah 28 and eight, and it reads: It says, "The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old." All right. What? Moses, King David. You know, um, um, Solomon, you know, uh, 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 Samuel, okay, you know, uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, all the men of the, uh, the righteous men of the scriptures, okay, are the prophets, it says, it says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, both, prop, old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms, okay, which we're doing the same thing now, all right? All right, it says of war, of evil, which evil means bad times, eve meaning a time, okay? Hence the word you get evening, the evening is a time, okay? And vow meaning bad, okay? All right, bad, disgusting, detestable, uh, horrible, okay? All right, so bad times, horrible times is coming, okay? All right, and that's what we tell these uh, great kingdoms. And isn't America a great kingdom? All right, it's a great nation, okay? All right, it says of evil and of pestilence. Pestilence is what? Disease, death, and destruction, man, okay? All right, pestilence, what? Diseases, which causes nothing but death. All right, so this is what we're prophesying unto these uh, nations and countries that death and destruction is coming to this planet Earth, man. Then what? The return of Eloi Yahweh Shai is going to clean up all the mess that these heathens have caused on the Earth, okay? All right? And save his people, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, Okay? All right, so let's quickly let's see. Uh, all right, <coughs> and like I said, the prophets are the are are, uh, are divinely inspired by the heavenly Father. Okay, and the Lord said that He's going to give you uh, men that actually uh, uh, teach you His words. All right, according to what the Lord wants. Okay, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter three, verse fifteen, and it reads. It says. And I will give you pastors, okay? When you look up pastors, uh, it, matter of fact, let's get it in Etzbon. Let's go, go ahead and get it. 
All right. Pastor. It says, Pastor, a noun from the late 14th century to mid 13th century. It says, as a surname, it says, Shepherd. Also, spiritual guide. Shepherd of souls. Okay, what's a shepherd? One who guides the sheep. Okay, all right, a spiritual guide. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al the word in equals God. And, all right, he said, I will give you pastors, all right, spiritual guides. Okay, all right, which it says, I'll give you pastors according to my heart, and that Hebrew word for heart is law, which means mind. So according to the mind of the Heavenly Father, all right, he's going to give you spiritual guides that are according to his mind, it said, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, okay? You're going to get the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim al and the understanding of that knowledge, okay? All right, you know, which that will keep you, what, stable in the days of death and destruction, man, okay? You know, because the days that's coming, okay, are very, very evil, okay? You know, where uh, a man is, is going to be uh, afraid as like he's a woman, okay? All right, you see these women when they go, uh, when they get scared, they get very scared easily. A man is going to be as a woman in the days to come, okay? Um, quickly, where was I at? It's locked in. Let's see, uh, coins in your heart. So I can, I can. Yep, yep, there we go. That's what I wanted. Yep. This is Isaiah chapter 33. Let's see. Yep. Chapter 33, verse 6. And it says, In wisdom and knowledge. All right, what is wisdom? All right, according to the scriptures, wisdom is the fear of the Lord, according to Job 28 and 28. So you can go read that, okay? It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, okay? Shall be the stability, man, something that keeps you stable, all right, mentally stable, all right, mentally sane, okay? Because all these people are going to be going insane because what? They don't have the fear of the Lord, ultimately, but they don't have the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, man, right? okay? They don't know the future, okay? So they have no hope. Okay, all right, it says, uh, it says, thy times and the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, which is wisdom, okay, is his treasure, okay, and what's the treasure, something you uh, hold closest to you, okay, all right, you're going to value the fear of the Lord in these last days, man, okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, okay, all right, but those who don't want to fear the Lord now, they're going to be uh, uh, in derision, which derision means mockery, okay, all right, See, matter of fact, and the Lord says it right here in Proverbs 1. I'm going to go down. This is, uh, let's see. Let me get this first. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And fools despise wisdom, which wisdom is what? The fear of the Lord. Okay. All right. And instruction. They don't like to be uh, corrected. They don't like to be told what to do. That's a fool. Okay, but a fool is gonna die in his uh in his uh foolishness, man. Okay, all right. This is the fear of the Lord that is the beginning of, of knowledge. But remember, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right, so you must fear the Lord to get that wisdom and knowledge. Okay, all right. Now keep on going. This I'm gonna get this main point. It says, uh, let's see, where should I start? Uh, yep, I'll start at verse 24. It says, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But yeah, so Yahweh Shemarashah has called unto you through his prophets. All right, but you refuse. You don't want to listen. He stretched out his hand. All right, that hand of mercy. Okay. All right, that hand to save you. Okay. But no man regarded. You didn't even consider what the Lord was doing. Okay. All right. It says, but ye have set at naught all my counsel. You you said not all the counsel of the Lord, which is through his men. Okay. I right, started with the apostles and elders, a great millstone to the men on down. Okay. It says, it wasn't none of my reproof. You did not want to be corrected. All right. And the scriptures say what? Correction is grievous. Okay. Uh, for the, unto them, they were sick of the way. Okay. All right. Correction is grievous. All right. They hate it. All right. Let's get that real fast. Correction.
Yes. Yep, here it is. This is a uh, Proverbs fifteen and ten. It says, "Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof to be corrected, shall die." Okay, plain and simple. All right, a fool hates to be corrected, hates wisdom and instruction, so he shall die. Okay, all right. It says now going back. This is Proverbs one, in twenty five. It says, "But ye have sat at not all my counsel." And with none of my reproof, you wouldn't listen to the correction. All right. So what? You hate it for proof. You shall die. It says, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. So the Lord's going to laugh at you when you're catching all types of hell, man. All right? When your fears, your greatest fears come upon you. Okay. All right. He's going to laugh at you. All right. And your calamity. He's going to mock. Because why? You didn't want to hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Okay. All right. Man, and uh, I just want to quickly get the point. It says, this is a ver jump down to verse 29. It says, for that they hated knowledge. They didn't want the wisdom of knowledge to keep them stable in these last days. Okay. All right. It says, and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. See, in the year of prophet, well, really, you've been supposed to have been fearing, okay, the God of the Bible. But now we're in the year of prophecy where things are about to pop off. All right. Remember, the prophets are telling you that definite instruction is going to come. Nothing but war, evils, pestilence, diseases, widowhood. All these things are coming uh, to, to, to your front door. Okay. All right. But you, you should fear the Lord that you be not caught up, caught up in all these things. But the Lord is going to allow you to be caught up. Because why? You didn't choose to fear him. You didn't. You hated the knowledge. You hated the wisdom. Okay. And understanding of these scriptures. Okay. It says, for they... For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Or they hated the reproof, so they shall die. Okay? It says, Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way, which they're they what they're sinning, or which sin is transgression of the law, statutes, and commandments according to the Bible, all right, which the wages of sin is death. So you're gonna eat the fruit of your own way. All right, what you own way, your own way is being sinful, all right, which is death. You're going to you're going to eat of death. OK, it says and be filled with their own devices. So you're going to be <laughs> you're going to be uh, destroyed ultimately. man. OK, all right, because you didn't want to fear your how about shot. OK, all right, you're going to be destroyed. All right, it says for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. OK, and the prosperity of fools, a fool, an idiot, a nincompoop shall destroy them. Okay, all right. So you want to be foolish and not hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, you will die. Okay, and this is the year of prophecy when the Lord, hey, it's called the year of prophecy through the Spirit for a reason, man. There's a lot of prophecies to go down, and something what the economic collapse, okay, famine, race riot, death, and destruction, man. And the scriptures speak about these things, man. Okay, all right. Which well, I'm gonna quickly get those, all right, just to show you, you know, because we back everything up with scriptures, all right. But then I'm going to end it off on that, man, because our people uh, are going to learn the hard way, man. All right. Two thirds of the nation of Israel. OK. Sixty six point six percent majority of the people. OK. All right. So this is a uh, second Ezra chapter 15. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says this is uh, second Ezra 15 and five. It says, behold, save Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. All right. Which is any killing instrument. Okay, so hey, nothing. Uh, 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 instruments of death. Okay, it says famine. All right, a lack of resource of food and water. Okay, death. That's just plain and simple. All right, your spirit leaving your body. All right, and not not just leaving the body peacefully in horrible fashions. Okay, it says and destruction. Okay, all right, nothing but plain death and destruction is gonna be going on out here. Okay. All right, but now I just want to quickly get this preset. Okay, all right, go, jumping down to verse, I believe it's like 40. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yep, here it is. Verse 49, and I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood. So you you got husbands, your husband's going to die. You're going to be a widow, okay? All right, it says poverty, 
All right. What what's poverty? You not having no no resources. Okay. All right. You not having a house. You're being poor. You're out in the streets. Okay. No food. Cause it, what it says famine next. All right. It says famine. All right. Lack of resources. Uh, uh, uh of bread or water. Okay. So you're gonna be out on the streets. You're gonna lose your houses because Esau is doing a gentrification right now. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna be losing your houses. You you're gonna be living in shitty neighborhoods. Okay. For lack of better words. And it says famine. A lack of bread and water. Sword, all right, which is any killing instrument is going to come your way, okay? Instruments of death, okay? It says, in pestilence, diseases. You'll be catching all types of diseases that's going to uh, that's going to destroy you. It says, to waste the houses with death and destruction. So these are the things that's coming to America, man, okay? All right, Lord's will, it happens this year, you know, 2020, the year of prophecy, man, okay? All right, prophecy will come to pass, man, okay? And it won't, uh, uh, it won't tarry, okay? And we'll end it off on that one. Matter of fact, let's get this. Uh, uh, let's see. Terry. All right, this is the book of, uh, I believe it's Habakkuk. Yep, Habakkuk, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. Verse three, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right, that vision is the prophecy. OK. All right. Prophecies, 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 things in the future. OK. It says is yet for an appointed time. Matter of fact, let's get vision in the entomology. Let's get that. All right. It says vision. It says something seen in the imagination or in the supernatural. OK. It says presence, sight. View, look, dream, supernatural sight to see in the future. That's what supernatural sight means. Okay. All right. It says, it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right. It says, but at the end it shall speak, the meaning it will happen. Okay. And not lie. Okay. Remember, because the Lord is faithful and is true. His words are faithful and true. He's not a man that he shall lie. Okay. Though it tarry, though it seems like it's, it's taking a long time to happen. Okay. It says, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right. It will not tarry. It will not prolong. Okay. And Lord's will 2020 be the year that everything goes down written in, uh, uh, in these prophecies, man. Okay. You know, the economic collapse. All right. The RFID chip, which is the market of the beast being mandatory. All right. World War Three. Okay. And then uh, what? The return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. Who the word and he calls Jesus Christ. To put the nations in subjection and save his elect, okay? All right, of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 men prophets and the one third men, women, and children who believe the great multitude, all right? So, hope you was edified through this uh little uh um lesson or a little epistle, man, okay? To the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukar